What's up guys, Spartan85 here. Welcome to day 45 of the Builder Series. Been hard at work last night. I missed some cloth here. I'll grab this real quick. So last night I worked on just gathering all the small stones nearby. Collected a bunch of resources. I mean, look at all this nitrate, coal, stone, all this raw iron that I have that I'll probably, if I need some space, I'm going to have to scrap it. But I'm only, I'm down to 15 shotgun slugs. I'm, I'm down less than that actually. I only have 15 shotgun slug shells. And then I'm down to um, five slugs. So I'm just about done. That'll clear up some inventory, just using those up. And uh, so maybe, I, maybe I'll get away with not having to scrap those. I did take apart everything in the kitchen, too. Got some iron and some cloth and stuff. Just just whatever, you know? So I think today we're, we're going to try to make it to um, our main base if we can. And so what we'll do is, and one thing I can do is I can stop at back at my base and drop off some inventory. It wouldn't be a bad idea. Do that, and then we'll hit this trader that we haven't discovered yet. Uh, there's a trader here that we can go check out, and then we'll make our way across and uh, go to go back to our base. I might stop by and just drop off some loot. That way I can grab as much as I possibly can from my base. So we might do that. We might stop at the base and uh, just drop some stuff off so let's uh let's do that let's find my mini bike it's over here and our general direction i think will be pretty much north by northwest so let's get that done real quick um a lot of comments that i missed the machete at the trader and i'm sorry <laughs> i totally did not see the machete i'm also not looking for it that's why I probably didn't see it, but I apologize that I missed the machete. I know a lot of people want to see me grab the machete and use it, and I will definitely be on the, the lookout for another machete. Uh, a lot of people want to see me turn around. I'm not going to go all the way back south just for that machete. Um, I have... I am really trying to use guns now. I'm trying to use up this ammunition that I have, and I'm dumping a lot of points into that. And it kind of brings me to... The series and what I want to do what I'm leaning towards is make it to day 49 so that's the seventh horde we will fight the horde and then I think I'm gonna max the difficulty and then turn zombies to always run I think and then we'll just go permadeath we'll see how far we can take this series at that point and uh, if I can continue it I will if I die then it's time to start a new series so I figured that's kind of a good way to speed up the series a little bit because you kind of get to the point where it's like, now what? Now you just grind ammo and you fight the hordes and, and it becomes kind of a grind, which is fine. Uh, a lot of people want to see that, but a lot of people I think are kind of itching for a new series possibly. So I think that's how I'm kind of, look at this little stretch of wasteland here. Just small little stretch. And this is the hub city area that we're running into right here. Let me uh, see where I'm going. I need to go, yeah, northwest from here. Ouch! Sorry, dude. So that's what I'm leaning towards. Um, I love this series, too. I'm not trying to just end this series. I'm not trying to do that. I just, I kind of need to do something with this. Like, have a plan for it, you know? And that's... I think that's that, that's the best of both worlds. It, it people have always asked, "Ooh, look at that hunting knife! That's even better than the one I'm carrying." Scrap that and scrap that. And a lot of people has always asked me to do a long series, like a long, in-depth, long playthrough series. But then a lot of people always like to see the start of a new series, and they love to see the first, you know, ten days or whatever, the first seven days grind. They love seeing that, and that's honestly where this game. Where this game's bread and butter is that first seven days trying to survive. So I figured that's kind of the best of both worlds if we do it this way. Uh, there's a good chance that this series could go on, but there's also a really good chance that we're going to add a ton of excitement and, and, and infuse this series with a bunch of excitement. So I think that's what we're going to do. I haven't searched this car yet. We'll go and search it. Uh, goldenrod seed, I'm good. What's over here? Nothing. Okay. And also, that kind of will allow the loot respawn to start on day 50, so everything's going to be re restocked, which is good. So, we got a few more days to prep for this horde, and then also to prep for zombies running all the time. 
So it's going to be a big, it's going to be a big change in the series. Okay, right, and we're back. I think first things first, I'm going to run down to the bunker and just turn the forges on real fast. So we'll go down. Actually, I tell you what, should I go? I need to make a shirt that says, I tell you what. That's probably one of my biggest sayings, isn't it? <laughs> I tell you what. I hear somebody walking. Oh, you're in my... What are you doing in my base, lady? Oh, that's not good. I wonder what she tore up. Oh, she died from the one shot. What is this, a wandering horde, possibly? Man, what they coming? Did they spawn inside my base? All right, I'm out of shotgun slugs. Let's switch to the actual shells. Yeah, big difference between the shells and the slugs. You can already tell already. Slugs are like one shot kill. And uh, yeah, the shells aren't. All right. Oh, we got a couple more to search. Nothing. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of spooky. They're in my base. Yikes. Yeah, see, I got a little bit of lead here. I'll grab that. Grab the gunpowder, the iron. Um, What else do I want to grab? That's probably it. I'll grab the bullet casings. And a lot of people chimed in. Uh, about the cooking pot also. You can make cooking pot landmines in this alpha. So thank you guys for correcting me or just telling me about that. Not so much correcting me, but I was mainly just asking, hey, can we do this? So what do we need to make these? We need iron. We need duct tape. Duct tape and springs. I'm not sure I have any springs. Let's see. I do have some springs and I have some duct tape. Cool. Uh, I need to put some stuff up, don't I? Oh, you know, I picked up this challenge last night from killing a... Uh, Zombie, uh, kill some special infected zombies. Oh, that's... Is that the whites? I think. I don't know. I'm not going to worry about that right now. Let me put this stuff up. Let me grab my uh, duct tape and springs. Let's make some mines. I'll make some air filter landmines. Craft that. Here is a hubcap. Landmine will make that. And a candy tin landmine. There we go. We made some landmines. Now what about pipe bombs? What do you need to make pipe bombs? I'm guessing probably pipes. Yeah, short arm pipe, plant fibers, and gunpowder. I don't know that I have any short arm pipes. Let me see. Yes, I do. There's a car air filter. I can make another air filter uh, land mine, and I need plant fibers. Let's make some uh, make some pipe bombs too. How many can we make? Eight. That's perfect. I just need more short iron pipes. Mainly all I need, so I can craft those out of the forge. Another car air filter. Let's. Um, what do I need for that? Oh, gunpowder. So I'm out of gunpowder. Okay. Cool. More ways to blow myself up. All right. Well, let's get this thing turned on. We'll craft out some more gunpowder. So we need to add some uh, some wood in here. And we'll get some more gunpowder going. 785 pieces of gunpowder. Nice. We need to turn this forge back on. It's still smelting down stone and making cement. There we go. We'll craft out some more. Cement. There you go. 800 pieces. This is making crushed sand and uh, concrete mix. So we should be able to make some more. Oh man, I got so much crap on me right now. Put the paper up real quick. So we can make some more concrete mix real quick. And some more crushed sand behind it. And we got brass and lead to throw in here. We'll get that turned on. And 
And we got some raw iron to throw in here. We'll just throw that in there. We got plenty of plenty of iron in here. I'm really not too worried about putting in the raw iron, or the scrapped iron in there. Cool. All right. Everything's turned on. I really need to put a workbench down here. That way I don't have to run all the way back up. But I also like having the workbench upstairs, too, where all my supplies are. Alright, we'll bring the pistol with us. I put up the shotgun because I'm out of shotgun rounds. So, actually I'm not. I have 185 shotgun shells. But we'll put the shotgun up. We'll take a break from the shotgun for a little bit. We'll bring the pistol with us now. Use up some uh, 9mm. I got a bunch of 9mm rounds. I got some more in here. 487. Uh, 382 should be okay. I think so. Because I also have the magnum and the hunting rifle. Okay, I think we're ready. Um, let's get on the road. I should bring some meat stews. Actually, I'll probably be able to make some more when I get back to my base, because I'll be harvesting all that food. Um, so I'm kind of low on blueberry pies. Let's bring the raw meat with me, and the eggs, the fertilizer. Let's bring the mushrooms, too. That way I can make some food when I get back to my base. Probably ought to bring some of these waters, too, because usually you need waters to cook. So we'll bring all that stuff. Okay, let's get on the road. Let's go to that trader we have not discovered yet. He is uh, up here. And we also have that city next door, but I'm not too worried about that. Let's go there. And uh, check him out real quick, see if he's got anything worth buying. Um, I would like to check this city out eventually too, but we might make a double. We might double back after hitting our base. Actually, I really should go to my base first, shouldn't I? And get that knocked out before we do this trader, because I feel like we can head back and hit that trader. I don't know. Let's go. Let's let's do that. Let's go back to our base first. Let's do that. Let me mark him on the map, and we'll hit that trader and the city together. Let's do that. Okay. Sorry, guys. So much indecision. But my thought process is we can maybe unlock that trader, find him, and then go raid that city next door, get some stuff to sell, run back, sell some stuff to him, and all that kind of great stuff. But I really have been meaning to get back to my old base and kind of check the garden. Look at this green... Oh, I'm glitching. So say, look at this green pasture, but it... <laughs> It hasn't loaded in yet, but I've been meaning to get back to my old base, harvest the garden, uh, make some more food, kind of check my inventory there, maybe grab another workbench. Maybe even grab that vending machine, too. Have I checked this, uh, what, Lieutenant Dan's grab garden here? Yeah, I have. Hey, buddy! Uh, a little bit of lead and a press boy cap. We'll scrap that. And, uh, speaking of that, I thought I had some skill points to burn, too. Let's look and see what we have. You know, I can't craft shotgun shells yet. I have the slug. I'd rather craft sh slugs. So I'm not going to worry about putting any points into that. Oh, we got Kurt coming over. I shot his arm off. Right to the head where he likes it. Old Kurt. You know, there's something I've never put points into is Fast Eddie. Loot 25% faster with each rank of this perk. Why not? Let's do that. You know what I really need, I should have done is... is there a, isn't there a crafting skill in this one? I can't remember. Um, Maybe not. I know there's a miscellaneous crafting that I already have pretty high. Yeah, right here. Crafting time nether 46%. So that that's already taken up pretty high. I don't think there is a crafting one though. There's a tool smithing. What I mean by that is like when you craft stuff in the forge and the workbench, if that you know if you can make it faster and stuff. I don't know if there's really a perk for that in the console.
Man, you guys see how fast that loot is? Man, it's fast. Some shades sell for 121. We'll try to sell those at the trader. Man, fast eddies. Okay. I'm a fan. It's like instant almost. You barely even see the little uh, radial thing. Oh, there's a vitamin and a flashlight we can sell. Wellness is up to 137. Maybe the highest I've ever had it, I think, even in my personal playthroughs. I might have had it at the 140 once. I don't know, but that... I don't know. I've never actually... Back back then, though, my my last long playthrough, I don't think I was really focusing that hard on actual wellness like I am now. At least tree stumps. Uh, there's a shirt and some gunpowder. We'll take the gunpowder. Man, I forgot how far this is out here. I built pretty far north, didn't I? <laughs> There's the failed horror base, and there is the original tower. There she is. Vending machine's still there. All right, we made it. There's my little staircase. Let's see. I, I Last time I was here, it got kind of destroyed. There's my floating... Here's this, my old trader. Uh, there's a forge there. I don't think I have a workbench here anymore, do I? No, nope, I do have the vending machine. Let's check that. Uh, buy some red teas. Let's do that. Cool. All right, we're here. It's been a hot minute. I'm trying to check some of my supplies. I do have some lead here, a little bit of lead. Uh, some radiators I can scrap or sell. Uh, lots of gas. Look at all this gas I have here. I need to grab that stuff. Uh, gun parts. I got a magnum frame, rocket launcher, bone shift. Nothing in there. Uh, there's my cement mixer there. Look at all that fertilizer I got done. Awesome. We'll grab the crushed sand. Cool. Let's uh, let's grab our hoe out of here. I do have a hoe in here, right? Yeah, I have a hoe. Uh, I'll grab that. And I'll throw some stuff in storage real quick, just to put away. Actually, I better probably put the stuff in the mini bike. Well, let me, i tell you what, I'll put it in here. And I'll take what I want. Alright, let's go check the garden. It's been a hot minute since we've done that. It should all be grown very well. Luckily, things don't die in this game, thank god. Here it is, everything should be fertilized. The mushrooms aren't growing. Look at that. I think being in direct sunlight doesn't help anything. I really do. Um, somebody did say in the comments a long time ago that you can actually put like some type of cover over them and they'll grow. But I think I just need to plant them inside. I think that's what I got to do. We got 16 pieces of fertilizer. We should be able to fertilize this whole thing, basically. Right there. All the fertilizer is gone. All right. I guess we got it all fertilized, I guess. I guess we'll grab these mushrooms. This is just picking up mushroom spores is all it's doing. So I guess we'll plant this inside. I have that downstairs. I can I can plant them in the little basement. Guess we'll plant them down there. I don't have another choice, really. Since they're not growing. Maybe you got to be close by. Maybe you got to like, nurture them or something. <laughs> all this food I have. I have so much food in here. I ran back just to grab some stuff to make sure I have enough to plant. I have so much. Can you plant egg seeds? I'm kidding, by the way. Don't don't at me on that one. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No, but really, can you? You know, while I'm getting this ready, I was uh, tell you guys something crazy. That Look at all these mushrooms I have right here. That's crazy. What do I have less of that I should plant? We'll plant the mushroom spores down below. Let's definitely plant some potatoes. 
do that. But yeah, while I'm doing this, something crazy happened the other day. I was uh, out driving my car, and I came to a stoplight, and uh, these pirates came out of nowhere and robbed me and took everything out of my car and everything like that. And turns out they were pirates of the car I be in. Oh, Wandering Horde, look at that. Oh my god, that's humongous Wandering Horde. Oh my god, they are getting bigger, aren't they? Well, don't tear up my garden, guys. Please. Probably shouldn't shoot towards my garden, probably. Splint's probably a little foreshadowing, I'm sure. I always say that, though. I always say that. But it is. It really is foreshadowing. God, I love the Magnum. God, I love the Magnum. One of my... One of the greatest... I'm probably probably my favorite gun in the entire game. Probably. Just, I'm, I'm an old I'm an old school gun person. I'm, a, I'm an avid kind of antique gun collector. I have uh, several World War II guns. Some Vietnam-era guns and stuff like that. But, I mean, I'm a huge collector of guns. I love it. Um, I wish I had more. I don't have as many as I want. Um, one thing for you married guys to go is, uh, <laughs> is, is married man, and I'm not married, but uh, married man's greatest fear is that his wife will sell all of his guns for the price that he actually told her he bought them for. So just remember that. If you come home with a gun and you say, oh, I got a steal. I, I bought this for 50 bucks. Um... Uh, yeah, you might save yourself some trouble now, but you're not going to save yourself some trouble later when you're in your grave and she's selling all your guns for 50 bucks. Okay, we're all planted. I, I, I hear you. Where are you? Oh, Lieutenant Dan. Don't crawl through my garden. No. Can you not do that? Please. Oh, look at that potato seed. I could have used that a few minutes ago. All right, cool. Everything's planted. That we need to, at least. Let's run back and uh, let's get some... F we'll get some food cooking tonight. We'll worry about that tonight. Let me run back and just kind of look... I wanted to see if maybe I had a workbench here that I missed. I'm trying to see. Where we got? Supply? Did I leave a workbench here? No, I didn't. Okay, I was really hoping I did, but I guess not. Okay, let me throw some stuff in this chest right here. Oh yeah, I'll just plant my mushroom spores down here, I guess. Since the game's being all weird. I guess I could have... You know, I could, to I could hold this up. Let me do that real quick. I would get a little bit more. Let's hold this up. Maybe it'll grow better down here. Maybe. I don't know. They're being a little temperamental, aren't they? Well, we have just a few game time minutes. Let's go find a place we haven't raided yet in the city over here. We don't have much. We raided all the businesses. I'm going to just find a house we haven't raided yet. Pretty sure we raided that one. Yep, the door's open. We'll do just a really quick raid. Just to break up the monotony of this, uh, of this day. We've done the passing gas... Probably have to go a little bit further into the town to find something we have raided. You have the hotel. The poppin' pills I've raided, right? I think I have. Surely I've raided the poppin' pills. Yeah. We do have this little gas station, but I'm pretty sure I raided that. There's the abandoned trader. Pretty sure I raided that, right? I was, oh, crap. Yeah, because I think I was looking for parts, right? Yeah, it's open.
I do remember raiding these two houses here. There's the bank we raided. Maybe I have raided everything in this town. I don't really remember. Is there anything over here? They've got a couple more streets. We got these junkyards we haven't touched yet, but they're kind of, I don't know. They're not that. Oh, we got the trailer park. We haven't done the trailer park yet. Uh, let's try out the trailer park. I have not raided a trailer park in forever. Forever. As far as I know, there's not a lot of great loot here. There is a trophy. Oh, I wonder where you were. Nothing. All right. It's, we don't have a lot of time. We got to crack into this. Yeah, I don't think there's going to be a lot of great loot in here, really. Um, toilets. We might get away with a toilet pistol. There's some murky water. We'll grab that. There's some iron. Hey, a vitamin. That's probably worth the price of a mission right there. We do have some yucca fruit over here. We'll grab this. Some gasoline. There's a cooking pot. We can just scrap that and we'll just make uh, make some mine. We'll recraft those in the forge and make some more mines. Uh, some more iron. Let's probably hold on to those, though, since I'm going to make some pipe bombs. Antibiotics. Yeah, I think I'll hold on to the pipes from now on so I can make a... Uh... Oh, Mo! Mo's right here! Anyway, so I can make some more pipe bombs as well. I was trying to save before I was really interrupted by Mo. Hey, look at that blueberry pie. All right, we'll eat that. Now, somebody said, I was trying to pick this up the other, the other day. I don't know, what do you do with the burning barrels? Can you turn that in the gas? You cannot. I'll just take that back to the base and I'll put it around the base. But I, the one at the trader, you can, oh, rechargeable battery. Look at that. I've been looking for that. I bet I have a nail gun already. So, I uh, will take it. Why not? I'll figure out. Either I'll scrap it or something. But yeah, the one that I said I couldn't pick up at the trader, yes, I could have picked up. Uh, I just wasn't close enough, apparently. So, thank you for correcting me on that. Plastic parts. There's a cooler over here. Nothing. Glass jars, I'm good. Nothing in there. Uh, some food. Let's, uh, I'll scrap that for the iron. More pipes. We'll get some pipe bombs out of that. The vitamin. Thank you. Murky water. I'll take it. Okay. This actually hasn't been a too bad of a raid, really. Surprisingly. A couple glass jars. I'll pass. We got something here. I'll sell the beer. Beer sells pretty good at the trader. Yucca seed. Uh, I'll pass. I don't need that. I got enough seeds right now. One nice thing is we're getting quite a bit of iron from these doors. Quite a bit. There's more, more iron there. A blood pack. Actually, I'll take that blood pack. I got kind of injured from those uh, cactuses I kept hitting. Scrap all this stuff. Hey, there's a pistol. I was just talking about it. Maybe I can find a toilet pistol. We'll take the rounds out of that. There we go. There's some uh, shotgun shells. Awesome. Scrap the arrows. Yeah, surprisingly, this has been a really good raid. Wow. I'll pass on the cloth. Take the pipe. Nothing there. We'll grab the iron. Nothing. Scrap the cans. Take the painkillers. I've been selling to this trader, planning on, at least planning on them. Officially night. Gotta be a little more careful now. We have one more house to search. Nothing. 
Nothing that I want. Probably paper. I'm gonna pass on the paper. I'll take the blueberry seed. Why not? Nothing in the fridge. Some murky water. More ammo. Nice. Alright. Man, this has been an awesome raid. Really, really good raid. Let me go find my mini bike. Where is it? Over here? Anyway, um... This is usually... I mean, you really can't get into these until late game. So I don't know if maybe the loot is turned up for the trailer parks. Not for sure, but that was some really freaking good loot. Man. Well, I'm going to head back, and I'm going to work on cooking food. Uh, mainly meat stews if I can, but also cook blueberry pies. I like carrying those around, too. And uh, I'll just mainly work on that. That's the big thing I'm going to work on. Get that done. Get that done. I'll just, that'll cook all night long. And I'll sort some inventory, decide what I want to bring back with me. And then we'll go hit the traders tomorrow. See what they have in stock, and probably make it back to my base to drop off loot and start getting ready for the next horde. I do need to repair my base, so I need to keep that in mind. I need to repair my base. I need to get back get back in time enough to repair it. But that's gonna do it, guys. Uh, thank you for watching, and like I said, a couple more days, and we'll turn up the difficulty and uh, really turn this into a crazy series. So, all right, guys, catch you guys later. Bye.